gamers and ballers, gamers and ballers, we got ballers and gamers, and then the gamers and ballers. What's going on, Jamea Bitch? And once again, we got another episode of Shots Fire lined up for you. What's going on, my people on Twitch? What's going on, my people on YouTube? And what's going on, people on TikTok? What's going on? I can't stop saying that because you know what? I finally know what's going on, and I'm telling you, this year's World Cup is insane. FIBA has been talking to us left and right, and they're saying, you know what? Until this World Cup is over, we want you to concentrate on what these teams are doing. Because if you've been watching any of the preliminaries, any of the practices, any of the games that's been happening, these teams are balling. They got talent. They got squads. It's the Avengers. It's the DC comic book um, comic book superheroes. It's it's literally an anime character from Naruto to Luffy. Um, it's as crazy a character like the Terminator and also you know Arnold Schwarzenegger and Matt Stan. Literally. All the stars are out, and it's beautiful to watch. So much talent that I didn't even know was there. And that's what we're here right now. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, my people following me here left and right. Right here, we're going to TikTok. What's up? I've uh, got some people here. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, I, that's Japanese. I don't know what that says. Arigato. Arimasu. That's it. That's all I know. I can't. Um, Giannis, boy, thank you so much for joining right there. Uh, Canton, I feel you. Thank you so much for joining right there on TikTok. And for my people on Twitch, I oh, got some people here. I got on YouTube. Let's see what we got here. All right. We got a couple of people there. What's going on? Again, just want you to know, wherever you're watching from, shout it out. I want to give you a shout out because, as you know, the World Cup, it's so many teams from all over the world trying to compete for that number one spot to be the number one in the world. I mean, we got the NBA Finals. All right. Cool, cool, cool. But when it comes to the World Cup and also... It's an Olympic year in the sense of the qualifiers are literally a couple of months away. So now people are qualifying for the pre-Olympic qualifiers. So woo, you're definitely going to see some medals being thrown out. Um, do I play basketball? Yes, uh, I, I do play basketball. You don't do that. I don't. I play basketball. Yes, I do. Yes, yeah. Nine, one, two, zero, two, two. Played in college a little bit. Um, now I do this working with FIBA. Thank you so much. Uh, what's going on, BMW? I know you're in the house. And uh, Scotty, what's going on? All right, cool. We got an interesting show for you. As I said before, there's a lot of things that happen when it comes to the FIBA World Cup. There's going to be a lot of spotlight on these different teams and players that you may have thought, quote unquote, were American because a lot of NBA talent is from overseas or from little islands or from places you never even heard of. And now they're going, you know what? Let me represent my country. Let me wear the flag on my back and see how nice I am. And you know what? It's magnifique. It is beautiful. It's more bella. I love it. Also, we got some shout outs to our talent overload. This dude is insane. He's over seven foot six. We got video film ready. All right. And also, NBA 2K segment, we're going to do a little something different. We got some people there on YouTube trying to do some hypotheticals. And what if the LeBron James family, you talk about Bronny and Bryce, were actually on the same team if they were all in college? That's a squad. That's crazy. All right, real quick. Um, Indonesia. What's up, Indonesia? I see you. How you feeling, Indonesia? Thank you so much for coming through. Uh, see anybody else coming in? All right, cool. And like I said, my name is Vince Chang. This is Shots Fired, episode 26, aka the energy is about to bring more energy right here on all these great platforms and powered by FIBA. Shout out to Jelly Smack. And also my Obi-Wan, if I'm becoming Luke Skywalker, the one and only Buckets Finals. Thank you so much. All right, here's the thing. Let's start the show. And we always start the show with Town Overload. And this man got enough talent. So here it is. Town Overload on Shots Fired, episode 26. All right, we got another question here. Do you stream while you basketball? If so, do you have some time? Um, I don't stream while I play basketball. I post things that I did play basketball. If you go to my Instagram, Vince Chang 21, uh, I'm going to the championship next Monday in my city league. It's called the dynasty league. Shout out to all my players, you know, Johnny, Jimmy, Sebastian, JC, um, also David, you know, AJ, Amit, Larry Uva, you know, uh, make sure I'm not forgetting nobody because I got a lot of people on that team. And also Roman. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to championship. So I just post post things just to show that I still can ball, but I'm old. My knees hurt. Okay, gotta ice them. I gotta put that bend gate. Gotta put that icy hot. Because, you know, after you get over 30, things will go quick, crack, 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 mm. But thank God I've not been in any kind of major injury except for in college, like two or three ligaments. But eh, those heal. But anyway, let's get back to the show. Like I said, we're starting up with Town Overload, and this man right here is insane. Bring it up, Sasha. This guy right here, his name is the one and only Mamadou Inje. Okay, 
uh, NGI, sorry, Mamadou NGI is basically a social media influencer that's over seven foot six and has over 100,000 followers and also 16,000 followers on YouTube. This man is insane. He's from Senegal, okay, Senegalese, professional basketball player who played all pretty much around when it comes to European leagues, but also one of the greatest things he's done, he actually played in the States at UC Irvine. Now, Irvine's an uh, NCAA Division One level and basically standing at seven foot six, he was a dominant center in the Big West Conference. He was Defensive Player of the Year in 2013-2014. And man, oh man, this guy had bounce because he's also one of the top shot blockers that you've ever seen. As you see, playing my man Chris Staples, one of the top dunkers that ever do it in the world. They have this amazing bromance. Every time I see him on YouTube or Instagram, they also got stuff going on. But man, it's uh, ugly. Now, I played against tall players like this who don't really have to dunk like that all right in the sense of they don't need to jump at all this right here usa basketball red bull 3x3 nationals in which they're just competing with 3x3 because you'll follow people 3x3 as soon as you can you know it's going to be olympic sport next year and the world tour is going on and whew, a lot of money on the line but i just see being such a dominant force down low very hard to guard him and he also has a lot of accolades as well as i said being defensive player of the year but this dude actually played professionally um in certain places he went to the nba draft in 2016 and joined the golden state warriors 2016 summer league but then he signed with the detroit pistons but then was waived that afternoon so a little bit of you know uneasy stuff and then he went to the grand rapids drives for the nba development league and was affiliate player of you know the pistons and then he just went back and forth and then now he's just been born all over the world as a influencer but back when he was in college now these stats were insane 2013-2014 he was the tallest player in the nation to set the uci and big west conference single season record in 106 block shots as a true freshman all right this dude set a school and conference single game record with 11 block shots on february 6 over long beach state i mean this guy is a boxing machine but of course he doesn't have to jump he just protects the rim like this like you guys ever seen that movie with robin williams jack when he just goes like this that's all he has to do that's it and then this guy was nice but then back in 2004 2015 scoring a high of 21 points hitting 10 out of 11 shots over a win over loyal uh, marymount and also blocking shots left and right against so many different opponents now being this tall does have it's you know problems and trials and tribulations but as you see he's staying in shape as much as he can he is a force to be reckoned with not only working out with basketball but also he's a crazy person now as you can see making sure he gets the boxing gloves making sure that blood is pumping and also killing it on a lot of courts he's been killing it also on the west course with a whole bunch of venice beach you know muscle beach uh with those leagues of bbl and also coming back on the east coast trying to make sure he's a force when it comes you know any kind of park you can get to now, he is definitely a talented individual. Mama, dude, thank you so much for showing your talent all over the world. And shout out to my African kings, man. We're showing them. This country has talent. And also, I'm not going to say, I'm not saying about certain things, but you know, history. Africa is the biggest continent ever. You fit all the continents in Africa. They will let you know that. You fit all the continents. Do research. Do research. It is that big. And they got some ballers. So you better go over there and recruit because I'm telling you. Africa's gonna be taking over. They're gonna be taking over. All right. You, you, you see Black Panther. You see him. And let's go to the chat real quick. Ha uh -huh, he doesn't have to jump. No, he doesn't have to jump at all. Sorry, I don't speak very good English. I speak Spanish. Well, guess what? Hola, como estas? El gato en pantalones. That's all I, That's all the Spanish I know. I'm sorry. Uh, and also that's some blue streaks, so don't, don't make fun of me. Uh, but yeah, but thank you so much for coming. Good eyes coming through. Uh, my people there on YouTube, you guys are still here? I don't. But thank you so much for coming to TikTok. Uh, Yaiza912022. But anyway, uh, that was Mamadou and Jai. All right, shout out to Senegal. Man, I can't wait to see what they're going to do in the World Cup. Oh, no, they're going to probably Well, we're going to find out right now. Because right here, this is breaking news. And this is the World Cup update, the first one of many. And you should sit down for this one because I got some news for you. Right here, breaking news and shots fired. Let's go. All right. Press that play button because we're going right into it. Here's the thing. The World Cup is nearly here, folks. August 25th. And there's been a ton, a lot 
uh, preparation with all these games going on. And I'm telling you, one of the big stories is Eric Gordon on the Bahamas. This man has been killing. So we're going to go through all the stories real quick. But as you know, go to the FIBA World Cup tracker to check out all the results and stats from all these games and also to keep you updated on any country you got there. But let's go right into it. Now, since as you know, so many countries from around the world are trying to get in this World Cup with at least a little leg up with a lot of preparation games, but it's showing a lot of talent, okay? Now, the one guy says that a number of teams have ascended to the Abu Dhabi for the International Basketball Week, and United States was one of those teams. They face off against Greece and Germany. Two wins were recorded for the U.S., 108 to 86 and 99-91 with Ant-Man being the star of the show. You know what I'm talking about. Anthony Edwards has been tearing it up. Woo! This guy is fresh. All right. He's continued with stuff like 21 points, then 31 points, respectively. And he just keeps balling out. He ain't scared of nobody. He ain't got no problems. Problems. Woo! He ain't got no problems. Problems. Woo! I'm telling you, being part of Hustle definitely stepped up his confidence because he's been hustling and bustling and showing a lot of these countries that he's someone to work with. Now, this guy right here, Franz Wagner, also faced off the United States when it comes to Germany and Greece, but they came with Germany and Greece locked horns as well. With Germany winning the contest 84 to 71 behind 14 points, four rebounds, and four assists from the Orlando Magic, the one and only Franz Wagner. It's crazy because Lebanon split those games. And I just saw right there, Canada has been crazy. With the star man, Shai Gillis Alexander, went for 22 points and eight rebounds. And it was a very good game. The Canadians lost to the Dominican Republic, though, as you can see right there, Towns, with the big man, Carl Anthony Towns, and lit with 20 points, which was insane. And that was a big upset right there. Now, after the loss to Canada, Spain beat Dominican Republic because of one there, Usman Garuba, uh, former Houston Rocket and Real Madrid, with a consistent seven points and eight rebounds and seven assists. And there's something about that stat line that I love because he just showed that he could do a big man. Man, former NBA player is showing his thing overseas. And he did a little bit of everything. Now, it's right here. Good night, Mike. Australia made the high expectation for defeating the unbeatable French team. Sorry, Sasha, your French team went under. Yes, 78 to 74 with Josh Giddy filling up the stat sheet. 12 points, six rebounds, five assists, three steals. And it was a French last one more game until they go to the tournament. And guess what? It was a loss. As you see right here, Josh Giddy getting here in the corner. Captain Floaty. And despite the New York Knicks, Evan Funia, okay? Funia uh, with 29 points. but. We can go to someone that we all love and love, 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 love more. Luka Doncic scoring 23 points as Slovenia finished up their preparation games with a blowout win over Japan, 103 to 63. That's no day. That's a confidence boost right there for Luka. And, you know, they're going to do a lot more. Now, and that's probably all the time we have with this. Now, just to let you know, I'm very excited. And you're getting excited. There's going to be a lot of upsets. There's going to be a lot of tight games. And it's going to be so darn good. But please download the app with the FIBA World Cup tracker and also go to FIBA website to find out if your country is playing. Because I'm telling you, representation is key, but talent is even better. And it's so sweet. I'm loving this. I know you're going to love it. So keep it going. All right. We still got our people there on TikTok. Got some people. Hey, salute. Okay, Griffin. What you doing here? Hey, Mr. Griffin. <laughs> What's going on? How are you feeling right there? Again, come into the chat. Let me know where you're watching from. This is a live show. As you see, I talk fast. My little sip of water. But yeah, we like you to be a part of the show as well because that's what makes us go around and around. You can also watch the show again on YouTube um, and also on TikTok as well. And after you not notice, we're also posting live games of past FIBA World Cups up leading into the actual world cup now we're going to be able i think to post quite a few you know do the license stuff like that as long as it's post live on youtube we should be fine on twitch so again you could watch it on youtube we can also watch it on twitch so you have multiple ways to, you know keep up with all these great players and teams and as i said before you can also download the fiba tracker app in which you can also keep track of the players and the team that you want to what else you want what else do you want all right now usually <clears throat> excuse me uh, we have a guest, and sadly, he could not be here, but he will be here next week. Um, his name is Kalu Basum, and he's a professional NBA 2K player representing Brazil, and he told me he got some big news, reason why he couldn't be here today. So we're going to move the guest interview to next week. We'll be back next Friday. I will be in Mexico tomorrow. That's why we're not here today. No, that's why we're here today. That's why we're not going to be here Friday. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, we're not going to be here Friday because I'm going to be in Mexico tomorrow. 
But next week, we're going to be a Friday at the original time and a couple of Wednesdays as well for the next month. So anyway, let's keep it going because this next segment, we got to talk about this. We're on Twitch. And what is Twitch known for? Video games. And we always get an NBA 2K segment with NBA 2K24 coming out. Oh, baby, baby. Ooh, Kobe's in the front, Black Mamba. But this was quite interesting of what this streamer did, which I'm for. But anyway, this is NBA 2K and Shots Fired. Let's see it. Now, let's break this down. Play it in the background, because I don't think we ever thought about this. That's LeBron James. That's Bronny James. And that's Bryce James. Has anyone thought, what if you put the James family all on the same team? Well, Dominus did that right there on YouTube, in which he basically did a hypothetical situation in which the James family was on the USC Trojans on NBA 2K, LeBron, Bronny, and Bryce. And I'm telling you, it's actually kind of dope. It's crazy to have them with him. Now, Ronnie James is only 18 years old and the eldest son of LeBron, and is going to be a freshman at USC. Now, he suffered a cardiac arrest a month ago. You know, prayer to him and stuff like that because that was insane. I, I have my own opinions about it, but he is doing all right. A good now. But Sharif O'Neal, Shaq's son and friend of Bronny, recently said that it wouldn't change anything uh, in regards to Bronny's career. He played in Sierra Canyon High School and was 2023 McDonald's All-American. Now, the one thing I do love about Bronny James is that he's tough as nails. He's not going to back down from a fight. He's just like his dad and also a lot of talent like his dad. So he's going to be fine, I personally think, but hey, we've got to keep a close eye on him. Now, Bryce James is 16 years old, second child of LeBron, recently transferred to Notre Dame High School in Los Angeles after playing with Bronny at Sierra Canyon. He's six foot four already, and a lot of buzz is going toward him. I mean, he's been surrounded by social media since December 22. He also signed an NIL contract with Clutch Sports, so he's still making a little bit of paper by himself, so he don't need daddy money no more, but he needs daddy's training and get some of that talent because He's still growing, and he has a lot of things to learn from his dad. Now, we can talk about Bronny for a while. I mean, this dude is really going to be an impactful college player, I think. He's already have the mentality of a grown man when it comes to basketball. I mean, everyone kept arguing, is he's the number one player in the country? Does, does he deserve to be in the McDonald's All-American? Does he deserve to go D1? Absolutely, he does. I mean, this is his show. I mean, the thing about this is that he's played a lot of other sports as well, but basketball was the one thing that he actually excelled in. And now when I talk about being the number one player, I mean, people always said, like, is he good as Mikey Williams? We also Mike Williams, one of the top players in the country. And you know what? They can go toe for jump. They really can't. But the cardiac arrest, maybe he was pushing himself too hard, but I think he's going to be fine. I mean, the one thing I do know is that he's been recruited by so many different colleges left, right. And you know what? Going to USC is going to be quite interesting i mean he had offers from duke kentucky i mean come on you got one of the top coaches in the world trying to get it and the thing is that when you have the james name on the back of your jersey it's kind of hard not to dismiss the fact that once you bring in a top recruit who is talented by the way but also has the prestige and also a royal red carpet ready for you in a sense of ready for you as the college because you know people are gonna come to see him it's not like they're going to school and then you're sending a red carpet for them. No, he's sending a red carpet for you because now you're going to come into his universe, which again, LeBron, Steph, Kobe, Michael, all different universes definitely have their own gravitational pull. So have a guy like that, a guy, he ain't a boy no more, come to your school, you know the buzz is going to be crazy, but he does have the talent to back it up. Now, Bryce, on the other hand, he's also excelling as well. I mean... This dude is getting taller and taller by the day. I mean, he's six foot four already, which ah, just seems like he's going to keep growing. He's going to keep growing because Ronnie is relatively short. He ain't that tall, but Bryce is going to be taller. And the one thing I do know about it is that I'm really curious if those two brothers go to the same college because they're two years apart. So they'd be able to do that. You know, LeBron James is trying to make history to make sure he plays with the Southern NBA. We all know that's going to happen. So LeBron is going to be like Mr. Robotic. He's going to be a cyborg. He's going to put anything in his body to keep it going so he can play as long as he can in the NBA to have his sons there. Side note, didn't know that Bronny James' godfather is Chris Paul. Did y'all know that? Did, I, I did not know that. That Bronny James' godfather is Chris Paul, one of the top point guards ever. He better get a lot of time because now you got two major, major players who are your fathers. So you better give him the power. 
so he makes it. All right, excited for the FIBA games tomorrow. I know you are, Rezzy. What's up? We got something for you right now. Rezzy, don't go nowhere because it's time to break it down when it comes to FIBA. All right? You know what? We're talking about FIBA. That's it. That's it. Come on. We go right. This next segment right here is the FIBA story, and I'm telling you, you are going to let it because some banks, some borrowers, and some teams are doing more than we ever expected. So right here, the FIBA story on Shots Fire. Let's check it out. So, as I said before, we have a lot of countries that are not fearful. They're not backing down and maybe not intimidated that the United States is playing in the World Cup. And the reason being is that in the United States, I've always had this argument, things were the best, and no matter what, we can bulldoze everybody. But what I'm seeing from these teams is that they're taking the talent of the NBA and bringing it back to their countries. Let's roll the tape, because we're going to talk about this little island that most people don't talk about. The Bahamas isn't crazy. Like, look, Deion, DeAndre, right? Buddy Hill, Cad Jones, and even Eric Gordon. The squad is crazy. We talked about in the beginning of the show. I'm going to keep talking about it because they're going through the ringer. Now, the Bahamas preparing for the Americas for the pre-Olympic qualifiers in Argentina. And they went and won it all. That's right. Gordon Aiden Hill, company to the beautiful Argentina, defeated the hosts and favorites twice. Yes, twice. All right. In the finals, the Bahamas walked away with a victory of 82 to 75. And man, they finished the tournament 4 0. That punched their ticket to next year's FIBA Olympic qualifying tournaments. And down goes Frazier, and down the later final, Eric Gordon went off. He went supernova and sealed the deal. He finished the game with a high of 27 points and also 6 for 7 from downtown. Now, Aiden also had 10 points, 20 rebounds, with Hill going for 17 points. Now, these boys definitely have a chance to qualify for the Olympics, and they're definitely a team to keep an eye on. Like, I'm from Jamaica, so any island in the Caribbean, I'm rooting for, which I'm so down, which is beautiful. Now, Either they're going to go to, you know, I think at least the last couple of rounds, to be honest. Because the truth of the matter is, is that no matter what, talent is there. And Buddy Hill was always a problem from college. Aiden was a problem, but also now you have Eric Gordon, that's just the veteran. And that was the missing piece. Now, with there, there's other pre-Olympic qualifiers going on with Dario Saric right here. Produce a masterclass as Croatia downs the host of Kia with an 84 to 71 win in the final victory in the Europe two edition and Europe one it hosts Poland that advanced with a 76 to 72 with a thriller against Bosnia and here's a Govina and I'm telling you whew, that was interesting too and another thing in Africa Cameroon which you know who is from there Drew and beat made history but win the first continental level competition after beating Senegal they won 80 to 74 in the final in Lagos Nigeria Good on them. That was a huge achievement. I'm telling you, told you, the African ball is all balling. Now, from the Asia edition, Bahrain prevailed against Damascus. I didn't know the place was like Syria after going five for zero. What? Are you kidding me? Undefeated, inching just ahead of Saudi Arabia, and it's crazy. Now, as you can see, the pre olympic qualifiers has Bahamas, Croatia, Poland, Cameroon, and also Bahrain. So this is a battling out for the pre-Olympic qualifying, which is great. Which is a huge congratulations to all these teams. Because, like I said, these are not the teams that we normally talk about. We don't normally talk about it. So now with their talent exploding, now they're on the map. Actually, the Bahamas, the big three. Bahamas going to be a problem in the FIBA Americas. Yes! Renzi, you are not lying. I'm telling you, I'm so excited to see them ball. Because if they go far, it just gives another conversation that these islands that most people think they're just specialized in football and cricket and soca and you know I'm, I'm from there can ball. I mean, the, the one thing growing up, and I always go back to what I knew was Tim Duncan was from the islands, but also one of my favorite players was from Jamaica, Patrick Hewitt. But it wasn't really promoted a lot. Like I. I learned that getting older. So knowing that these other countries are going to, again, it could be Bahamas. It could be Trinidad. It could be Jamaica. It could be Barbados. It could be St. Vincent. Say, and just to know that talent is there brings so much joy to my heart. Please, uh, I don't know how I'm going to lie to you. I 
can't lie to you, but okay. Like, I can't lie to you. What do you want me to lie to you for? I there's no way I can lie to people. Nobody wouldn't lie. Anyway, George McPherson, what's good? I see you on YouTube. Where you know? I got your people there. All right, but yeah. So with all this talent going on, I'm just excited to see where this team is going to go. And I think everyone right now should download the FIBA Tracker app and put Bahamas as one of their favorite teams. Just do it. Just do it. Just, listen, I've got, I, I, I'm a good, I've got a good hunt. They're going to be surprised with some people. I don't know when you're surprised from people. That's some good content. Uh, I ain't got no lying goes. Um, how many teams will qualify in the Olympic tournament? I got to find out that because that could change. I, it's usually 40. But let's find out. Okay, how many teams, teams qualify with the basketball Olympic tournament? Here we go. Let's see. So how many teams qualify for the Basel Olympic qualifications? Here we go. All right, let's see how many teams. Um, 24. Uh, it should be. F- yep. Here we go. I was right. 40 teams. It's 40 teams. 40 teams. So, yeah, 40 teams. Okay. That's great. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah. We'll see what that happens. I mean, let's see if we have any. We don't have any teams right now. I know that. But yeah, 40 teams will qualify um 2024 for the Olympic qualifying. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. That's gonna be interesting. I mean, we got the 20 World Cups. It's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. I mean, I'm I don't know who's gonna take. I know who's gonna take the Olympics, but the one thing we do have right now is the World Cup, which we're definitely gonna break down right now because that is in two days, as my man on TikTok, the one and only Renzi Benzi has. Shout it out. So we're going to go right now. This is a short show. Usually it's really longer when we have a guest because usually guests usually takes about an hour and stuff like that. But we want to get the information out because you know you guys are watching. You guys are loyal to the show. Really appreciate y'all. All right. So anyway, this is the Worldwide Court, and we're not going to go further ado because we're not going to go somewhere. We're going to go everywhere, and we're going to break down the groups of the FIBA World Cup. So right here, this is the Worldwide Court on Shots Five. Let's go. It shows the game has come a long way. George McPherson, you ain't never lie. It is going like, because right now I'm going, I was really looking up um, for Renzi, who's going to qualify. And I'm seeing countries like Uruguay, Bahamas, Iceland, Indonesia, Cuba, Mali, Bulgaria. You know, we know about, you know, the, the Polands and the Turkeys and even the Czech Republic, the Netherlands. But see, North Macedonia is inc- incredible. Um, Tunisia, uh, it just, even Guinea. Like, to, to see these teams ex- that come out and, and express themselves on the court is, you don't want to get emotional, but if you love the game, you probably can't help yourself because it's the same thing. I'm going to put this in a conversation, seeing a black superhero. You see a superhero that has the same skin as you, right? You see a reflection of you in someone that has so much power. It's the same thing with the game. You see someone from your country playing and at a high level and winning. That's it's different levels there. All right. You see them with the jersey. You see them with the country on their chest. But then you see them excel and win, and it inspires the younger generation that I can do it too. I don't need just to stay here. I can dream too. And that's and that's the beautiful thing about basketball. It comes a long way. All right, to keep it going here. Now, this is a worldwide court, and let's break it down because this is gonna be nice and interesting. So bring it up for me, Sasha. Let's do it. For this week's world segment, we're going to the World Cup. And obviously, there's a lot of close competition that's officially kicking off Friday. But the one thing I know is that we're going to go through some of the opening fixtures and what groups are going to look like. And so everyone has a chance of what's really going on. So first, we're going to go to Group A. And that's going to start with one and only Angola. And then Dominica Republic, the Philippines. And then also we're going to go to Italy. And they will battle it out with the opening game taking place on what? August 25th. Angola will take on Italy. And then Dominican Republic will take on the Philippines. And that's going to be uh, quite, quite interesting. Now, Group B, we got who? South Sudan. 
Serbia. Oh yeah, that's a powerhouse. And then also we're gonna go to China, you know, or Chinese, and also Puerto Rico. Hey, let me get some. And that group kicks off on when? August 26th, and which is gonna start with South Sudan. We're playing Puerto Rico doing battle. And then the one and only strong house of Serbia going against China, and they'll be facing off. Now, that's a lot, okay? That's a lot. That's already the first two groups. And we got some more groups, okay? Because group C, now this is gonna be a big one. United States versus who? Not Michael Jordan, but Jordan. Then also we're gonna have Greece versus the New Zealand. Now, August 26th, that's when it starts off. And then United States will be going ahead with New Zealand. That's gonna be first. And then also gonna be Jordan versus Greece. And then also group D is Egypt right here. Mexico, Montenegro. Right here, let me see that beautiful flag. And then also another powerhouse for the battle of Lithuania. August 25th, we'll see Egypt versus Lithuania and then Mexico versus Montenegro. And yeah, I love that beautiful sky. I gotta start traveling more. All right, yeah, so happy. Mexico, mm, Montenegro, woo! That's gonna be a good game, check that out. Now, Group E, Germany, Finland, Australia, and also Japan. Arigato. That's a big one as well. August 25th. All right. And that is a okay. Because we're going to see Germany facing Japan. And that's going to be great. As you see, the beautiful, uh, great, that's probably some tower. And then we got to Japan. And then also we're going to have Finland. Check out, I've never been Finland versus Australia. So that's going to be interesting as well. Now, Group F, we got Luka Doncic, Slovenia with Cape Verde. All right, so we got Slovenia, Cape Verde. Then we got Georgia and then Venezuela. Mm -hmm. And that's happening on August 26th. And that starts seeing Slovenia versus Venezuela. Then we got Cape Verde versus Georgia. And we're gonna keep it going right now with Group G, that Iran and also powerhouse Spain. That's gonna be, whew. You know they're good. Madrid. And then we got the Ivory Course of Cote d'Arabie versus Brazil. All right. And the date's going to happen. That is going to be August 26th, in which we're going to start off with Iran. We'll face off Brazil. And then we're going to have the one and only Spain taking on the only Ivory Coast, which I love seeing. And I'm telling you, I think these are pretty pretty fair they're pretty fair they're pretty fair all right now in the final group group h now where are we going oh canada Latvia, lebanon and then the powerhouse france i know they're licking their wounds right now now on august 25th now this is gonna be mouth the clash between who canada and the baguettes france that's gonna be that's Please watch that game. Uh, and then Lafia with me facing off Lebanon. Now we can all take a breath because we got some more, more action for you. Now that's just a preview of the groups in the opening games. And there's no excuse for you for you not to tune in. You can catch all the games on FIBA's digital platform. Also going to courtside 1891. Check it out. Which is also a NBA's official app. So that's breaking news. So now go and subscribe. Courtside 1891. And uh, also the fixtures, results, and breaking news will be all on the FIBA website and socials. So check Check them out. Shout out to my man Simon Baby. He's also in charge of uh, you know courtside 1891. Okay, let's see right now. Uh Arigata. <laughs> let's go, Philippines. I'm rooting for all the Asian countries. All right, I see you, Rezzy. Uh, but I think Canada's gonna be a good team. I think so too, with the with Shea Alexander's uh RJ Barrett and all of them. I think Dylan Brooks is on there as well. Like that's gonna be crazy. If you just tune in, this is shots fired with your man Vince Shang, aka the energy, in which we talk about all the stuff happening when it comes to the basketball world, especially now with the FIBA World Cup underway we got these squads ready to duke it out and i don't know who's gonna take it i really don't know anybody thinks united states has it easy but mm, nah nah i don't think so i don't think so if you do like the channel please press that subscribe button or press that beautiful like button or you can just do something free that's liking it in the sense of it will be a good follow for us when you follow for us we get more people to come to the page and also let us know what you want to watch with we got the world cup coming happening we're going to have a lot of the games being streamed on all social media platforms when it comes to FIBA. It'll be on YouTube and also going to be here on Twitch. So as you see, if you've been tuning in, we got some post games, which we're getting great reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching these past games. But now we got the new games coming up in the next two days. Now, let me know what country you're representing. When you're watching the games, put your flag all through the chat. All right. Send us DMs. Go to the FIBA page on Instagram or Facebook or even TikTok and let us know what y'all want. We want to give the people what they want, okay? And we do know that it's crazy. Now let's see. Chet DC. Hey, what's going on, bro? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. 
Good to see you. We're all good. And I said, this is shot fired. We got some gear. If you want some gear, let me know. Send me a DM. Vince Chang 21. But again, press that follow button if you haven't already. We're trying to get, I'm saying it, to 50,000 followers. I mean, we got 25,000 followers. We're halfway there. We are halfway there. All right. We got some more show for you next week. Please tune in next week. We have an NBA 2K legend, Kalu Basim from Brazil. Uh, he has some big news. I don't know what's going to be seven, but what he says is going to be cool. Shout out to the one and only Mamadou Njai. Uh, Njai. I always pronounce that wrong. Njai. Uh, from Senegal. I mean, this guy's seven foot six. Insane. That's some talent. And also to all the teams. And I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm a sucker. I'm rooting for the Bahamas. Rooting for the Bahamas. I want them to qualify for the Olympics. I want them to do well. Uh, to have the talent they have on that squad with Aiton, uh, with Heald, and Gordon, that's 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 a trio. We also we all we always see a trio do well. All right. Miami Heat, LeBron James, Chris Bosch, Dwayne Wade. All right. Uh, when it came to Golden State, you know, they had Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, Draymond Green. And then they sprinkled in Durant, which was just overkill. They did not need to do that. All right. So with all these great players on these teams around the world, and it's interesting that like Eric Gordon is such an interesting specimen because he has U.S. citizenship, but also Bahamian citizenship. And USA allowed him to play on that team because that's where he's from. So a lot of players are doing that. They're opting out to play for the country because they'd rather see the king fall than being part of a regime that's always been on the top. Wouldn't you rather make history than just be a part of history? That's a bar. That's a bar. Wouldn't you rather make history than just be a part of history? <laughs> yes, I'm about Lebanon, bro. I'm with Lebanon in the world. Yo, if you're with Lebanon, Lebanon got some talent too. In the Asian World Cup, I'm with Lebanon. All right, well, we're going for Lebanon. We got this. It's going to be a very interesting World Cup. I'm going for the European team who won it this year. I'm rooting for Greece. But no Greek freak, unfortunately, which is also another conversation that I like to talk to people about because most players forego their ability to play for the World Cup when it is relevant to the NBA season. Because when you're, you're a superstar, not only have to worry about workouts and stuff, you got to worry about your body and also not overworking it. So you don't worry about injuries because you can still get injured in the World Cup. But then also the Olympics of next year. You're going to push yourself through a full season. Technically, it's like a full season overseas with all the traveling you're doing. Come back to the NBA, then prepare for the Olympics. That's a lot for anybody. So that's why I always like look at certain players and go like, why wouldn't you represent your country in the World Cup? But then you think about what's surrounding parameters. You know what I mean? Um, and that's why the Greek figure I heard didn't want to do it because he's, he's just going to put himself at risk. You don't want to hurt yourself. You do not want to hurt yourself when it comes to that. And there's no need. But Greek freak. If this place, I'll be great. That's why when Luka Doncic went, I was like, crazy. That's why I was looking like Victor Wembanyama, you know, playing for France. He just got on the Spurs. He just got on the Spurs. And we all know transitioning from FIBA basketball to NBA basketball is already a leap. It's already a jump. Is he prepared for that? We don't know. We only seen him in, you know, summer league games. And is his body ready for that? Now, he did say he, he's not going to participate in the World Cup, but he is going to participate in the Olympics, which, again, is the highest accolade for any athlete. So you're definitely going to be a part of that. Um, but what I love about it is that he has an immense amount of honesty about that. He's not keeping people in, like, the dark, like, oh, is he going to play? Oh, is he not going to play? No, he knows what he's doing. Now, people that right now are on Twitch, press that. Uh, follow, hey, what's up? Oh, sorry, press that follow button again. Cause we about to get out of here. Uh, Denzi Castillo, what's going on? I feel you. Thank you so much for coming through on TikTok and also Indonesia. We got a lot of Indonesia fans here. All right, all right. Let's let's get some more information in Indonesia before we go. Let's get more information in Indonesia. I don't mind doing that. We do one more thing before we go. Indonesia basketball. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get that stuff. So here we go. So they're good. Yeah, they they beat Syria on Thursday. They got blown out by Bahrain. Ah, oh, dang. They got a cancer against it, and then they got beat by Saudi Arabia. Okay, so they 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 got some talent. India, India, what? We have to talk about uh, Indonesia, y'all. We got to talk about Indonesia. What they doing wrong? What they doing wrong? Well, if you got support, they're going to need some more support. 
The NBA should allow their international players to take part in the qualifiers. It would also allow uh, French players to play in a few matches for the NBA club. I think so too. Senegal, Zeno one. Yeah, Senegal. I'm rooting for that. But yeah, you're right, George. You're definitely right. Um, can you see when the games are for limit on the World Cup? Let's see it. I got you, baby. I got you. This is why we do this show. Okay, let's do Lebanon. And that's why I got so many screens and everything. Lebanon basketball. Okay, here we go. All right. So here we go. You ready? Uh, Mimi. So the next game will be on, and this is EST, because they're, they're going by, I think, my computer. They're playing against Lafia on Friday, August 25th at 5.15 a.m. EST. That's Eastern Standard Time. The next game is going to be on Sunday on August 27th. Uh, at 5.45 a.m. EST against Canada. Then they're going to play against France um, on August 29th uh, at 5.45. All right, so you got Friday, August 25th, 5.15 a.m. You got Sunday, August 27th, 5.45 a.m. And then you got August 29th at 5.45 a.m. EST. And that's on Tuesday on August 29th. You got it? Let me see if you got it. All right, anybody else want to say anything before I go? Anybody else? I can check it right now. So you can write it down. Make sure you know who playing. Who's going to go? Who's going to try to take the World Cup? Hard games with some great teams. I mean, Lafayette. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Lebanon. Oh, you're right. I mean, they, 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 in the World Cup qualifiers back in 2022, they did take out New Zealand. They took out the Philippines. They took out India. They lost to Australia by two. But they beat China, which was interesting for last year. But yeah, just Canada and France alone is a battle. And you're going to be licking your wounds from Lafayette. If they beat Lafayette, then they're going to go with Canada with some confidence. So they, in, my, in my opinion, Lebanon can, can show some work if they beat Lafayette. Because then you're going to Canada with some confidence. If they lose, then that's just, ugh, I don't know. It's going to be like, ugh. It's an ugh. And, but then going against France, I mean, history was made, but that's gonna be a hard squad that's gonna be a hard squad all right y'all y'all have been dope uh we'll be back next week on friday again press that notification button also press that follow button this is shots fired host looking man vince chang powered and sponsored by fiba and also behind the scenes give it up to jelly smack helping up with all the content sasha's aka buckets bueno he has some crazy news in the next couple of days i can't wait to talk about it next week i'm so proud of him just got three letters, M -M -M, but I can't say anything else. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, but all y'all been great. Thank you so much for, again, getting more involved with the show. Any questions, let us know. This is a live show. I'm talking as a real person. All right. I'm not no crazy professional. You don't get it. Let me know. I'm going to stumble, get some words. I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to say some jokes. But we're going to have more information. This show is to get information to you about the game we love, especially when it comes to World Cup, especially when it comes to FIBA, and especially the countries that are representing themselves on the basketball course so anyway thank you so much george db kids xeno one chet dc hooky thank you so much also my people on tiktok mimi and also renzi thanks for being involved you guys have been great again you can watch the show again on youtube but i will see you next week and it's gonna be a good one again this is episode 26 of shots five with your man vince chang peace out see you later